Introduction Last week, when Sunana suffered from diarrhea, her mother continuously gave her the ORS solution to prevent dehydration. Her sister asked her mother about the solution and this is what Sunana's mother explained to her sister. In this lesson, you will learn about the sources of water, waterborne diseases and how the water is made safe for drinking. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify the various sources of water Discuss the effects of drinking unclean water Learn how water is made safe for drinking. Identify water bone diseases and its remedies. Water is life. Water is an essential gift of nature. More than 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water. It is found not only in rivers, seas and oceans but is also found as underground water. Despite many sources of water, the usable fresh water sources are very less. That is why we need to use water judiciously. Impurities in water The fresh water present in rivers lakes, wells and other sources has many impurities present in it like mud, sand, dirt, minerals and some germs also. Many harmful substances also mix with water in the form of industrial, agricultural and domestic wastes. This makes water unfit for use. Waterborne diseases Waterborne diseases like diarrhea, cholera, typhoid and dysentery are caused by drinking contaminated or dirty water. These are communicable as they spread through contaminated food or water. A child with diarrhea or vomiting lose a lot of water from the body. It is important that we make up for the water that we lose from our body. We should drink a lot of water when this happens. We should mix one teaspoon sugar and a pinch of salt in one glass of boiled and cold water. The water should not taste saltier. This oral rehydration salts or ORS solution is also available in local health centers. How to keep water germs free and avoid wastage? 1. Store water in a clean and covered container. 2. Always use a clean container to draw water from water sources. 3. Do not touch water with dirty hands. 4. Get leaking taps in the house repaired. 5. Use buckets to take bath and to water the plants. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Water is essential for life. Polluted water has many impurities in it. Diarrhea, cholera, typhoid and dysentery are communicable waterborne diseases. Water is precious. It should be conserved. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more. Download iPrep and learn unlimited.